So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to be able to go ahead and set up a green screen to be perfectly smooth. Because sometimes you're not in a place where you can stream and you have a nice background, but you have a green screen. So let's go ahead and make that perfect today. <laughs> So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our green screen is as far away as possible from us. That's step number one. All right, so once you have the green screen set up and it's as far away as possible from you, the next thing we want to focus on is lighting. You want to make sure that this green screen is lit up as much as possible. Get as much light around you as you possibly can. I'm utilizing two Elgato uh, lights to be able to go ahead and light this up right now. Um, but you don't have to have an Elgato green screen. You can use a green sheet. You can use a green wall. Anything that is green, you can go ahead and utilize to put behind you. So once you have that set up, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and jump into OBS, right? So once you have OBS open, you want to come in here and we want to come to where it says scenes. You're going to select plus. You're going to go ahead and name this as put green screen and then select OK. And then you're going to come to where it says sources and you're going to go ahead and select video capture device. You're going to go ahead and select just name this camera and you're gonna go ahead and select your camera. Mine is the cam link. Then you're gonna select okay. And now we have our camera here, right? So the first thing that we want to do is we wanna go ahead and crop this, right? So to be able to crop it, you wanna select alt on your keyboard and then you wanna drag in the corners, okay? Just get the green screen in there. And that's gonna be the first part, right? So now we're inside of our green screen. We're ready, good, good to go. So next what we want to do is we wanna go ahead and get rid of the green screen behind us. So you wanna to come to sources, you wanna right click, you wanna select filters. Okay, it's gonna bring us up here. And I always like to drag this to the side to be able to work on this image here, because sometimes the one here is not as accurate. But we're gonna to come to where it says effect filters. You're gonna select plus, you're gonna select chroma key, you're gonna select okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide this, right? Because first we need to see the green screen. What I want you to do is come to where it says here, key color type and select custom. You're gonna select color. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select pick screen color. Okay, it's very important. You wanna select the part of your green screen that's the most lit. Okay, and then you select okay. And now what we're gonna do here is you're gonna go ahead and open it up, un unhide it. You're gonna see that we're gone. So to be able to fix that, you wanna come to where it says similarity. And you want to go ahead and bring this down until it's about perfect, until it's about perfect. Uh, so you see here some of the gray area that's coming up uh, on the left screen. We want to kind of make sure that that's, that's black. Okay. Um, so you'll see here that for the most part, this is pretty, pretty smooth, right? Um, but there was still some things we want to adjust here. So next, what I want you to do is, because a lot of times where people have a lot of issues is in the bottom corners. Um, so to be able to fix that, what you want to do is you want to come here, select the plus sign. Select chroma key again, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn off the first one, you're going to turn off the second one, and you're going to come make sure you're selected on the second chroma key. You're going to come to where it says custom, okay? You're going to select color, and what you're going to do is you're going to select pick screen color, and you're going to select the bottom corner, right? Which is more of a darker area. You're going to select OK, and now you're going to open it up, and you're going to see here you're going again. So we're going to go to similarities, okay? You're going to come here until it's about about perfect right like I try try your best don't worry too much remember for this one we're just focused on the corner so don't worry about what you see here behind me right now uh, we're just working on the corners you can see that they're nice and dark so that means it's very transparent so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select uh, close and see here now you want to go ahead and turn this on so now you see here that the top and the bottom are perfectly good to go. So the next thing that you want to do here is to be able to give your quality just a more of a touch, give you more of a high definition kind of look. You want to select the plus icon. You're going to select color correction. And now here you're going to mess with the saturation just a little bit, uh, not too much, but this is going to give you a little bit better, better quality. Then you, your contrast you can adjust it up or down. Uh, I typically like to do a little bit more up. And then the gam, I like to do a little bit more up as well. And then now you can see here, I'll hit this close. And once you close this, this is gonna be saved. You can see here that now, like I have no green screen behind me. We're good to go. Um, so now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and get this a test because sometimes when you don't, we have just a black background behind you, you can't really test to see how well your green screen is. So what you wanna do is you wanna either open up or put a picture up behind you, or you want to go ahead and add a uh, your game behind you. So that's what we're gonna do here today. So I'm gonna come to sources. I'm going to press plus. I'm going to come to a video capture device and I'm going to go ahead and select my game. Okay. And I'll make sure that's on there. So let's see here. We have uh, our multiverse open here. 
All right, so what I wanna do is right now, I need to go ahead and move the game under me, right? So you can see here that right now, I mean, this is a this is so smooth of a green screen that I'm right here behind this game. So you can see here, that now I can go ahead and size myself, place myself in the corner, and have a smooth looking screen. Now, one thing that I, that I recommend is that you gotta take a look at where you're gonna be looking at. So like, if this is my monitor that I'm gonna be playing the game on, you see how I'm looking away from the game? You don't wanna do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click on the camera, okay? Um, you wanna right click, you wanna say transform, and then you wanna say flip horizontally, right? So now you can see here that when I'm looking at my game, it also looks like I'm looking that way as well. But you can see here again, this green screen is perfectly smooth. What you want to do is really focus on the key things that I mentioned, right? Which is to make sure the green screen is as far away from you as possible, make sure you have it lit as much as possible, and then follow the steps that I recommended, and then you just tweak the similarities in the chroma key as much as possible to be able to ensure that everything is running smoothly and looks good. So now that you have a perfect green screen set up, right? If you wanna learn how to add overlays like alerts, donations, webcam, just starting, all these scenes that you need to make your stream look professional, go ahead and watch this video right here where I walk you step-by-step -step on setting up overlays and I even give you free overlays that you can download from streamdesigns.com. I'll see you in the next video.